Good evening. He claimed the injuries were caused by the family dog, but instead a jury found Carl Bevan guilty of murdering two-year-old Lola James in a brutal assault. Lola died in hospital after suffering catastrophic head injuries. Bevan was the partner of her mother and had been living in the family home in Haverford West for four months before the murder. Lola's mother, Sinead James, was also found guilty of causing or allowing her death. Our reporter, Charanpreet Kera, is at Swansea Crown Court for us tonight. And Charanpreet, a tragic case. That's right, Nick. This is an incredibly tragic case where a little girl died after sustaining 101 injuries and catastrophic head trauma at the hands of her mum's partner. Now, police today said that we'll never know exactly what happened to Lola James. That's because Kyle Bevan never cooperated with them, never told the truth. What we do know is that she suffered awful abuse. And just a warning that some of the details of that abuse are distressing. Oh, she's fallen down the stairs, she has. Right, OK. From the top of the stairs to the bottom. And her whole head's all swollen and she's bit the top of her tongue off or something. A desperate 999 okay. call from Lola James's mother. I'm really scared. OK. How far did she fall? From the top of the stairs down to the bottom. OK. What caused the fall? I oh, this bloody dog that I had at Barge there and she just fell. Two-year-old Lola had not fallen down the stairs, but had been attacked brutally by Sinead's boyfriend, Kyle Bevan. Lola had 101 injuries to her little body. And we're very grateful for our medical experts who have been able to prove that a large proportion of those injuries were abusive and inflicted by Kyle Bevan. Here's Kyle Bevan telling the police Lola's injuries were caused by the family dog, pushing her down the stairs. The prosecution said that was a deliberate lie to cover up his guilt. The only thing I'll be honest, if you're partially responsible for is the fact that I was making a over cereal on it. Kyle Bevan had moved into the family home in March 2020, just a month after his relationship with Sinead James began. Friends and family noticed the state of the house decline. These pictures, taken when Lola was in hospital, show how dirty and cluttered it had become. Investigators found this onesie in the corner of the living room floor, stained with blood and vomit. In contrast to the rest of the house, police noticed the bath was spotless. Paramedics found Lola wet and children's transfer tattoos, which she'd had on her arms just the day before, looked like they'd been scrubbed off. The prosecution said all of that was part of Kyle Bevan's attempt to destroy evidence and cover his tracks. Lola sustained the injuries that would lead to her death on the night between the 16th and 17th of July 2020. Records from Kyle Bevan's phone paint a picture of what happened. At around 6.30 in the morning, he searched the internet, asking, my two-year-old child has just taken a bang to the head and gone all limp and snoring. What's wrong? Five minutes later, he took a screenshot of a website advising that he seek medical help. But it wasn't until around an hour later that he asked his mother to call an ambulance, which she did straight away. The prosecution said he used that time to concoct lies and cover his tracks. Mr Bevan was an amphetamine user with a volatile temper. The trial heard of one occasion where he used a hammer to smash up parts of Sinead James's home. Lola had suffered a series of injuries in the months leading up to her death, including a bloodied nose, grazed chin and a split lip, all covered up by Kyle Bevan with a string of excuses. Today, a jury ruled all that should have shown Sinead James that Bevan was a threat to Lola. When the verdict was read out, she broke down in tears, hearing that she'd been found guilty of causing or allowing her daughter's death. The guilty verdict today is a clear indication that she failed to carry out uh, safeguarding responsibilities that were placed on her by having parental responsibilities for the child. She had the responsibility of safeguarding this child. She failed to do that. At court, Lola was remembered by her dad, Daniel Thomas, in a statement read by police. Even to say your name shatters my heart to know you can't hear my voice anymore. The only reason I can stand here today is for hope that you can see me, see that you were loved, and that you deserve to live a full, happy, safe life, surrounded by the joy that you gave to others. A little girl described as happy, beautiful, and busy. 
robbed of the chance to reach her third birthday. Well, Nick, the NSPCC in Wales have said that a review now needs to take play, place to establish whether Lola could have been saved and how we can stop cases like this from happening in the future. Sinead James did have a domestic violence advisor, but she failed to disclose that Kyle Bevan had moved into her home. That's a decision that could have cost Lola her life. Bevan and James will be sentenced here in Swansea in around three weeks' time. Chairman Pre-Care Road, Swansea Crown Court.